Julia here and happy happy new year to you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to the first ever video in this new year on my channel and if you are still here still watching my videos thank you so much you know I really really appreciate it uh, but I'm going to start the new year with a um, haul video that's actually you know the haul is actually from last year it's kind of weird to say that uh, from last year and you already saw from the title of this video this is my uh, 2019 uh, Christmas haul video yes I know I'm a little bit late with to the party with this video uh, but I actually kind of took off like two weeks or so two three weeks of um, recording because you know I cleaned I did my big cleaning of my uh, whole collection which took a lot of time and a lot of of patience <laughs> uh, and uh, a lot of energy too because you know I have a huge collection and uh, everything was just so dusty and, and yeah so I needed to work every single day for a whole week to be able to finish everything before um, Christmas and uh, so that I can uh, you know at least relax uh, one or two days before Christmas so that I will have some energy to actually decorate more <laughs> decorate with Christmas stuff, decorate the huge Christmas tree you can see behind me. Yes, we haven't taken down yet the our Christmas decorations. We will do that uh, I think tomorrow or during this week. Uh, but I still wanted to record a uh, at least one video uh, with the Christmas tree behind me as I usually do. Sometimes I record more videos uh, before the uh, the Christmas tree but uh, right now I'm, I don't think I will have time for that but hey I wanted to film this uh, to record this um, Christmas uh, presents haul uh, next to the Christmas tree because I think that's really like appropriate <laughs> thing to do uh, so yeah um, a little bit of throwback to 2019 but hey, I hope you will, you guys will enjoy this. So uh, I'm just going to get into this because uh, I did get quite a few things, and I actually do have a Sweden haul again because you know my stepdad came home from Sweden again, and he did bring me quite a few awesome pieces from Sweden, uh, from Sweden uh, like thrift stores again, as you already saw that uh, back in I think it was in August. Uh, when my birthday was coming up, but uh, again, so he bought uh, new things uh, and uh, they are all piled up next to me because I have also bought some things online, some second hand things online, and there was also like two or three flea market hauls, and you know, everything just piled up, everything is like um, all, uh, all mixed up now, so I have no idea from which figure, where from, where it came and whatnot. so I'm going to do just again a huge flea market haul and I will show you guys all the stuff there by the way I hope you can see me there's quite like a sunny uh, sunny day outside although it's really really cold because it snowed last day uh, not last day uh, yesterday <laughs> sorry it snowed yesterday and I was actually out taking some photos so yep I'm just blubbering guys I'm sorry uh, new year but still old me so uh, yes I'm going to uh, show you what I actually got on Christmas what I opened up as you know presents on Christmas uh, Eve because here in Romania I don't know if you know that but here uh, or actually like this in these countries around me like in East uh, Europe we don't open our presents on Christmas on the morning of Christmas Day, we actually open the presents on Christmas Eve. So a little bit of a interesting fact if you didn't know that. Uh, so yeah, um, first I'm going to mention the not so um, interesting <laughs> stuff that are not for my collections. Uh, I actually got a new pair of slippers. Uh, you will be able to see the pictures next to, next to me because I don't. I actually have it on my feet, so I'm not going to take them off. Um, a new pair of Christmas slippers, you know, house slippers just get so wrecked so quickly, so easily. I hope that these will at least um, make it till spring because then I will probably throw them out. 
and I got a uh, pair of like these really fluffy warm uh, Christmas socks and you can see the picture next to me they are really nice uh, and uh, really like super fluffy actually they are they are not currently on my feet but when I put them on they they feel kind of like I don't know that you're walking on a cloud or something so it's it's uh, really like nice and same time really like weird um, feeling <laughs> if you had a, a, if you ever had like fluffy uh, furry socks like these these you know what I'm talking about now uh, onto the more bigger stuff uh, I actually got and this is again not for my collection the other stuff are pretty much for my collections so this is a um, as you can see a uh, speaker if I'm I think it's it's called a speaker in English if not I'm I'm uh, sorry about that it is a speaker with Bluetooth so you can and you can actually put a SD card inside you so this is for uh, me whenever I uh, until now I actually whenever I'm working on something I like to listen to music uh, but I only turn my PC on uh, like in the evening and I listen to music then there with headphones on uh, but during the day when I work on my projects or I sew or, or whatever I like to listen to music because I don't know I just it's something that always it helps me concentrate it gives me inspiration so yeah and until now I was listening to music on my phone like with my the with the speaker of my phone and uh, yeah so I got this um, uh, speaker so that I can listen to music more um, you know to so that the music will be more clear more uh, more uh, stronger although I don't like to like put the volume up really really high but still uh, and that way I can actually you know connect my phone with my uh, with this speaker and uh, I can uh, listen to Spotify or, or radio or, or something so yeah I'm really really um, happy that I got this because it, it's really good uh, I do have to charge it now because I have used all of its power but uh, and it also has this strap so you can actually you know hang it up somewhere or carry it around if you wanted to uh, on the street I'm not going to do that of course but uh, still it's really cool uh, now moving on to the collection stuff or uh, actually first but this is for a collection, but it's not a toy collection, it's a game collection, and you know, uh, I sometimes I buy um, games for my PS4, and you know, like to play them, because that's what they are for. Uh, but I usually only buy them, like I have a wish list of all the games that I want, and I always add more and more to that list. <laughs> anyway, I shouldn't, but since I, I honestly I can't keep up. Uh, with all the games and I, I honestly can't finish all of them and always buy new ones but I'm trying <laughs> I'm not a huge gamer but I still like to play so uh, and I usually buy the games I want when they go on sale and these two were the same thing so they these went on sale and I just had to grab them because they were on my wish list for quite some time now and you have to uh, get when you get the chance you have to just jump and get them uh, of course if you can so uh, one of them is the Darksiders 3 so this is the third game or third episode of the Darksiders series you know the uh, four horsemen of, uh, of uh, Apocalypse uh, I am currently playing the first game the War Master edition with you know war, uh, but I before I had the first game I actually had the second one. So my first ever PS4 game was the second uh, second episode of uh, Darksiders. Back then when we got the play PS4 we didn't know I I didn't know anything about that game. I just grabbed it, and uh, after that I found out that that's actually the second part. So uh, after that the first part was on sale. I grabbed it and now I am starting to play like the whole series so currently I am almost finished with the first um, first uh, episode first game and after that I will play the second and then the third 
but you know since it was on sale I just had to grab it to have it in the collection and it will stay there until um, I get to it. Now the other one is uh, uh, I saw some uh, like gameplay of this and I really really love the graphics they are, I think they are stunning. This is uh, Shadow of the Colossus uh, I, hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly um, again really really amazing this is was made by uh, like Japan studio and they are like they make in my opinion they make really really amazing uh, visual uh, games last year I actually uh, got for Christmas another game from them which was the I think what it's called the last guardian uh, me and my mom both really really enjoyed that game it was beautiful it was touching it was fun and now I just had to grab this one from them and I hope that this one will be um, just as good as the other one and uh, yeah I'm just looking forward to playing this game because I think it will be really uh, awesome and if the gameplay is not that awesome but I'm sure it is then at least the visuals are really cool <laughs> sorry water break I actually have a TMNT bottle here. There we go. <laughs> My mouth was just getting dry. Now, uh, what actually I got for my toy collections, because you know I'm a huge toy collector. If you didn't already know, then hello, welcome to my channel. <laughs> um, but starting off, I actually opened this up, which I usually don't do, but I'm not going to review this little piece, so. This is another one of the little fingerlings and you know last year I got my first ever little fingerling which was a, a, a little black monkey. Now this one is a slot and I think he is super cute, he is super fun again to play with, super cute voice, everything is just so cute about this and actually my mom really really loves these. I actually kind of think that she got this kind of for herself but you know gave it to me <laughs> um, but yeah so they are super cute and he is really really adorable you will be able to see the box picture next to me uh, when he was still in box but uh, now he is open he is working perfectly and he's so cute so yeah that's the little fingerling now I got a uh, whole bunch of like again second hand figurines but I actually won these, uh, I think it was at the end of November, on eBay. It was a auction, and uh, I thought that the price was amazing. The shipping was expensive-ish, as usual, because shipping is expensive everywhere. But, you know, I just thought that <clears throat> I should try and uh, maybe win. And what do you know, I did win. I am super happy that I was able to, because... This is an amazing collection, almost complete collection of vintage figurines from 1991 from Hasbro and I'm actually talking about the Bucky O'Hare figurines. If you don't, if you are not familiar with uh, the Bucky O'Hare cartoon or uh, figure line or uh, comic books, then you should go ahead and do a search. You will find out that these figurines didn't last long, unfortunately. There was an error uh, with the shipping when they came out and it just got discontinued really really fast and I actually only met Bucky O'Hare, believe it or not, last year, in 2019 until then I didn't know anything about that I just watched a uh, Toy Explosion review uh, from Pixel Dan by the way, thank you so much Pixel Dan for that amazing video and uh, I thought that these were really really cool uh, figurines, I really love them. Usually, I like really like um, like anthropomorphic uh, animal cartoons when you know the animals talk and whatnot. And these are like this whole thing uh, is happening in space, so like alien animals. There, I, I, I don't know. I just really like the idea of it. I watched the cartoon; it was pretty cool, uh, you know, old-fashioned cartoon and. Um, I, uh, I do want to read the comic books now. I was able to find them online, so that's good. And uh, I instantly wanted the figurines. And they, the figurines, uh, only 10 of them were ever released. Like, 
in the vintage line. I'm not talking about the newer ones because a company called Boss Fight Studios are currently making like really uh, accurate uh, figurines of the characters with uh, change exchangeable hands and faces and whatnot. I really wanted those, but they are only available in the USA and shipping plus taxes from there are just insane. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to grab them. Uh, Maybe I will be able to grab them from, I don't know, from eBay sometime uh, if someone uh, from Europe actually posts them there for sale, I don't know. But until now, I'm just really happy that I was able to get the old ones, the vintage ones. Sorry if I'm talking about too much of, of this uh, topic, but you know, I have to explain it to you guys so that you will be able to understand that better. If you're not interested in the video, you can just go ahead and skip it or leave, whatever it's your choice. So uh, I was really happy that I was able to grab these and only 10 figurines were ever released plus two uh, like um, space ships, I'm going to call them spaceships. And in this auction I actually got 9 figurines of 10 and one spaceship so I'm only missing uh, a... Um, very far. I'm only missing one spaceship now and only one figurine, so maybe in the future I will be able to get those, not sure. I have never ever seen these on, uh, like locally, anywhere, or locally like on the flea market. So, um, yeah, now I'm just going to show it to you guys. So, uh, they are in really, really good condition, although they were kind of dirty, I had to, you know, wash and clean them and whatnot. And most of them are missing their weapons. That's what you get. And I'm pretty sure if I will be able to find these on the flea market, all of them would be missing their um, weapons. Just like how usually the TMNT figures are missing there. So I don't mind. I'm just glad that I have the figurines. So here we have uh, Bucky, Bucky O'Hare, or Captain Bucky O'Hare. He does have his gun. And yeah, they are, are they are in pretty good condition. Uh, little scuff marks here and there, or or little like you can see that these were the owner played with them when they were like um, a kid or something. I don't know, but still, uh, pretty. They are in pretty nice condition. I'm just gonna put them here. Uh, this is uh, really do it, and he is missing his glasses, unfortunately. But he does have his. Uh, helmet for his suit, so you can put that on the figure, like that. And of course he's missing his weapon. Uh, we have, uh, who we have here, I'm just uh, going to show you the good guys first. Uh, this is Commander Darkstar, missing his weapon. Uh, we have uh, Blinky here. He is missing his weapon and the backpack is also missing from his back and you can see that little peg still stuck inside there so it's broken. I can't really do anything about that, maybe get that little peg out. I will have to try, I don't know. By the way, Blinky is a little bit like uh, yellowed here in the front. It has some light yellowing on it. Again, unfortunate, but I can't really... I don't think that there's a way to get that off. I don't really mind, honestly. Uh, we have uh, Dead Eye Duck, and he has all uh, four of his weapons, which is really amazing. I'm really happy about that. And the last good guy we have is uh, Bruiser, the Berserker Baboon, and he died, actually came with his weapon. Uh, here it is, but the handle of the weapon is actually broken, so uh, I have to figure something out uh, to be so that I can glue it there and you know put it in his hand. But at least he will have his weapon. And we have three of the of the bad guys. I have here the Toad Air Marshal. He is missing his hat, unfortunately, and um, the weapon, of course. Uh, here is uh, Al, Neg Al Negator. Al Negator. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. As I said before, I watched the cartoon, but you know, 
and sometimes I'm having trouble uh, pronouncing the the names and whatnot in English wrong. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I think he is one of my absolute absolute favorite. Um, like for sure, he is my absolute favorite bad guy. But as a figure, he looks really really cool. So yeah, one of my absolute favorites for sure. And um, here is Todborg, who has. In my, I don't know why, but in my opinion, he has one of the creepiest like backstories uh, uh, in a cartoon like ever. <laughs> uh, if you are interested in what I'm talking about, then go ahead and search. Or if you know the cartoon, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why, but I think his backstory is, is really freaky for some other reason, at least for me. And uh, yeah, so those are the nine figures, and I am missing a at least a uh, stone. Trooper Toad, or that's what they are called. I think that's yes, Stone Trooper Toad. It would be awesome to have more of them because they are like, uh, they are those characters who you should like build up an army of them because there are a ton of them in the. They are basically kind of like the foot soldiers in TMNT. So yeah, that's the figure I'm missing. And the spaceship I have here is the Toad Croaker. Which is working perfectly. You can hear that sound that it's making. That's how it's supposed to uh, sound when, you know, this is a huge shoe and the shoe was supposed to like crush the uh, frogs <laughs> because this is uh, one of the little spaceships that the good guys are using against the frogs. And that's how it was supposed to sound when they are squishing the frogs underneath the shoe. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it's still working. It has all of the little pieces, so nothing is missing, and it's in pretty good, uh, pretty good condition too. So yeah, the other spaceship that I'm that I am missing from my collection is the uh, double bubble uh, spaceship, double bubble toad ship. Yeah, it's the double bubble. That's what I I uh, kept in mind. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are the figures at one of eBay and this is actually like a uh, present from me to myself <laughs> because I uh, bought it uh, as I said before at the end of November it actually came like in the first week of December uh, but I was only able to see them on Christmas Eve so I had to wait a little bit but I think it was worth it because I'm really uh, excited about these and I can't wait to display them somewhere not sure where yet, but yeah, I'm really happy to own these awesome vintage uh, figurines um, in my collection. Now I t have, uh, I think, two more, yes, two more uh, pieces for my collections. So one of them is again a um, a gift from myself to me. This is the second gift, <laughs> and this is like a brand new figurine. It's still in box. I will do a uh, review of this, so I will unbox it then, and I will do the review for you guys. This is a uh, Fortnite uh, figurine. Now, just a heads up, uh, I honestly don't care about the Fortnite game. I know it's a big hit now, and it was in you know last year in 2019. It's just not, not not my type of thing. Um, if you are a Fortnite fan, then it's okay by me. You can go ahead and play it, but it's not just my it's not my type of game. I don't play it. I don't really care about it. But why did I get this figure? It's because this character or costume or skin, whatever it's in the game, it's actually a werewolf. And judging for my from my channel name. Werewolf Thea. You know that I am a huge fan of werewolves and whenever I see or get the chance to actually get a uh, werewolf figurine or doll or whatever, I just jump and get it. Because werewolf stuff is really like, honestly in my opinion it's really rare, especially when they are like this good looking and this articulated. Uh, it actually has 22 uh, points of articulation. Yes, his name is Dyer, but I mean, come on, look at it. This is a werewolf. Like a Dyer wolf. So he looks really awesome, really like uh, 
you know, modern and really, I don't know, <laughs> really like, he looks like, kind of like he's in a, a street band or something, I don't know, um, but really, really awesome. He has some um, weapons here, which you are probably using them in the game. He also has a stand, but, you know, I'm just really happy to have it in my collection and uh, this is probably the first and only uh, Fortnite figurine that I will have in my collection because there are some other cool ones but not as cool as to pay that much money as I paid for this one uh, by the way it was made by McFarland Toys so I know that it is good quality and uh, whatnot but yeah this is going to into my uh, werewolf uh, collection and last, last but not least, um, my like biggest uh, gift, my prized gift <laughs> that I got from my parents. So they threw both of them threw money into this, and it's because it's a really really expensive gift, and I'm really grateful for them. Uh, I I knew about this gift of course because I picked it out, but <coughs> sorry. But, you know, it's it's a really expensive thing, and especially plus shipping. But I'm really happy to own it. And I'm talking about a Aizan doll, Aizan Pure Nemo doll. If you are familiar with them, you know that they are they cost a lot of money. They are well over $100. Uh, and until now I had two, two of them, two lovely girls. You will, You probably saw pictures of them on my Facebook shops page or on my Instagram because I like to take photos of them and you know make the clothes for them and sell the clothes uh, and if you haven't seen that yet or if you're not following me on social media you will find the links down below in the description box and you can go ahead and check those out follow me whatever um, but this is my third Aizen doll and it is actually my first ever boy Aizen doll and I'm really really happy uh, sorry about the glare you can see the whole box is like wrapped in this shiny uh, protection like paper or uh, yeah protection paper and uh, he is my first ever boy Aizen doll and I'm really really happy uh, he is from uh, the Hetalia anime uh, from Hetalia the Asterisk collection number nine uh Hetalia the world twinkle don't know anything about that anime i only know that the characters are like um, representing like countries around the world like germany and uh, japan and uh, what else he is actually representing spain he is like a uh, brown haired super cute boy uh again don't really know anything about that anime I'm not really that interested in it either I just grabbed this one because I think I thought that he was really cute boy dolls are kind of rare as like usually in every single doll collection out there all of the boy dolls are rare you know that uh, but he was available in an online shop um, actually from Spain <laughs> which is funny because you know he is representing Spain and he is actually like from Spain so yeah pretty uh, interesting but uh, I'm just really really happy uh, I don't know what his original name is I searched it online but I probably forgot it's like a Spanish name I'm probably going to rename him anyway um, but yeah my A's and girls they are right next to me here I have a nice little Christmas tree next to me and they are uh, standing over there uh, they are really happy as well to have a boy in the family <laughs> and uh, yeah I just can't wait to uh, unbox him and see the details up close I will do a review of this guy uh, too although um, you haven't really seen a review of my second Asian girl either of Nyaruko uh, I have kind of started the review of her, uh, like in box, when I got her, like last year in the spring. So it's almost, it has almost been a year since I got her. I still have to finish that review. Sorry about that, guys. 
you know, sometimes I just get dolls. I enjoy working with them like I do with Nyaruko. You know, I take a lot of photo photos and I constantly redress, redress them and uh, I just never get around to actually put them back in their original clothes and review them for you guys. But I do plan on doing that so that review will most certainly come sometime during next month and hopefully after that you will be able to see the review of this guy as well or maybe before that I'm not sure I may exchange the timeline a little bit uh, but yeah so this was my like the main prize gift uh, from my parents and uh, I am really really grateful for that and uh, that's about it actually for the Christmas haul I the stuff that I got uh, honestly this year last year um, but you know everything I got is just really really amazing and um, I am really happy about them and uh, you can look forward to the reviews of those the doll and the figurine the other stuff there's not much to review of them and uh, I can't really I mean I could but there's not much to review of about these guys especially since they are missing their um, weapons and whatnot so yeah you saw those and that's what you get <laughs> uh, you can look forward to a huge probably at least two episode uh, long like flea market slash Sweden haul with a bunch of figurines and they are all like a ton of TMNT figurines so brace yourselves because <laughs> you'll be able to see a, a whole bunch of those and uh, oh by the way I forgot to tell you that uh, I still haven't received my Christmas gift from my BFF uh, we didn't do the exchange of the Christmas gifts yet we usually do it during this month during January I'm not sure when we will be able to yet because I'm still working on hers you know I, I did buy some stuff for her but I'm doing like a DIY uh, project that I wanted to do for her like for a really really long time and finally I was able to actually start it and I want to finish it so yeah uh, it will take a little bit of time but I'm not sure what I'm getting from her because it's a surprise but you know I am eagerly waiting and uh, yeah so that's about it I will stop blubbering now and uh, thank you so much for watching guys uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for if you want to see more uh, like whole videos like this and you can look forward to those reviews and other kind of toy and do reviews of course and you can comment down below I think it's the comments are still available for everyone even though my channel is marked as made for kids uh, they are still the comments here. They are there. I don't think YouTube has taken them off. At least at the moment, they are still there when I'm recording this. So hopefully, when this video will go up, then you will still be able to um, comment down below. You can go ahead and go ahead and like or follow my page on uh, Facebook. You will see the link down below here, and you will also be able to click on it in the description box. You can always get notifications there when I upload a new video you will be able to comment there once the comment section will be taken away and uh, yeah you will be able to see some sneak peeks and uh, we can keep in contact uh, over there if YouTube is slowly dying <laughs> um, but yeah so again thank you so much guys for watching and again a happy new year bye